that Boom! was <laughs> yo god damn that was a long nap <laughs> we're back episode 13 dark racial humor yeah i'm me and you're you I'm and together we're us dark racial humor by bon jen caller john haven't had an episode in two weeks almost maybe it, longer it's religious reasons yeah um, I just you didn't, assholes just didn't give a fuck. But you know, when your audience doubles without you making content, you just gotta come back. Wow, we John. Whoa, that was loud. Um, yeah, it's Got dark racial mind. humor. It's uh, May twenty first. Lots to talk about. Lots to talk about. Michael Jackson died while we were gone. Trump became president. It's a whole lot of things. A whole lot going on. Um, we didn't really prepare anything. We just kind of just we're just gonna jump right into just it. Just dipped our toes in the fucking water. Yeah, man. <laughs> How's it feeling? Is it warm? It's pretty warm, yo. Ooh. Um, before we uh, before we uh, kind of get into the what's good, what's happening, just want to say thank you to our sponsor once again, Spotify. <laughs> This is the last time I'm going to shout you out because I'm starting to not care. Um, you obviously don't care about me, so I'm just going to, you know, move on and uh, go fuck myself. For those of you who are new to the to, to the cast or to the pod, as some of the kids call it, um, I have this ongoing beef with Spotify because they won't allow our, our show on their platform. Beef! Because they're racist. Racist! And, uh, yeah, so, you know... Whatever. Fuck them. Fuck them, bro. I got 25 listeners. I don't need that shit. <laughs> I don't need their I don't need their fucking living lavish. Living lavish. Um I usually save the statistics for every 10, 10 episodes. <laughs> but I'm just going to go ahead and uh dive into those real quick on the air cuz I'm really curious about who's listening cuz our last episode with Elias, shout out Elias, called My Whoa. First Gay Friend. Whoa. Whoa. Is tied for our most listened episode, along with three other episodes that also have twenty five plays. Wow! Yeah. Uh, so what a day! So let's just take a look at these statistics. Do 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 do. Tucson, Arizona, thirty nine percent. Mountain View, California, eleven, and Fresno, nine percent. The rest don't matter because they're really small. <laughs> wow! But yeah, we're getting a lot of uh. A lot of plays from all over the country. Uh, thanks to everyone for United States country. Yeah, thanks for everyone for um, you know just just listening, listening to us ramble. Because we're the best. We are the best. All right, we're um, the premier podcast in podcast land. So I'm on fucking Twitter right now. Yeah, yeah, man. What's going on in there? Um, honestly, nothing. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm looking at these trends, and they're all just like. You want to talk about Miss USA or Basketball Wives? Because I don't. Basketball Wives? That's what's trending, yeah. Not even the actual basketball? <laughs> nope. Damn. No, I don't want to talk about that. Fuck that. You don't want to talk about the new episode of Basketball Wives? On the oh, wait, wait, you said the new episode? The new episode. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. They're back. Anyways, Charisse, what a contour. Who's Charisse? Uh, that was a fake name. Oh. Uh, I mean, it might be a real name, but it's a fake person. Yeah, it's just like a a slow day. A slow day? Yeah. I, a slow day? Honestly, I went to the gym, and then I looked at the clock, and it was 4 o'clock. And I was like, wow, the day's pretty much over. It's 7.35 p.m. Yeah, and then the sun's going down. I think we should kill ourselves. You want to? Yeah. I think that every day, but like, I just don't have the courage. You should act on it. Should I go? Yeah. Should go for it right now? Yeah, go ahead. Fuck it, dude. Just like... Oh, wait. I mean, I got this Glock right here. What's the Glock? Uh, I mean, it's a gun. Oh. Speaking of guns, it's time for Dark Racial Humor's Gun Control Corner. Blah, blah, blah. That was uh, loud. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, you uh, know what's louder? The screams of people dying, John. This, the screams of the children in Santa Fe. Sorry, I was sipping my breakfast tea that I got from a, a hotel. That was your cue to spit it out into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what? Yeah, super sad news. Um, another school shooting in Santa Fe. Keep it up, boys. Um, twenty 
school shootings this year, I read on Twitter. Very credible source. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Was it one of those random pictures, JP, JPGs? Uh, and I don't know who said it. I, don't, I think Martin Luther King was tweeting some shit. Mm, junior. Yeah, and he was like, God damn, Elias, stop retweeting naked guys. I'm like, shit. Damn, Elias. Really is gay, huh? And he's pretty. I think he might be. I thought it was a whole fucking ploy for the like the show that was back. Oh, fuck. Oh, you like that say like what? Hey guys, um, we have a new show out right now, um, on YouTube. It's called Adobe House. Mm, original. <laughs> yeah, and it's basically kind of like a vlogish type thing. Um, they're really short posting episodes every couple days uh don't know what's gonna happen when these guys leave me and i'm alone for half a month but you know up until then just enjoy the content hell yeah hell yeah <sighs> jay got still around elise is still around yeah but jay doesn't wake up till six and elise doesn't come over till 10 <laughs> well, so uh, i don't know make your own fucking content you bum maybe i'll just start my own channel where i just masturbate how about you just do a fucking solo podcast like you should have a solo what am i gonna talk about Literally, what you're doing now. I'm gonna make a tech podcast. No, I'm just fucking. I mean, do what you want. You literally just said, "Do what you want to do." I said what I was gonna do. You said no. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. That's no, no. You gotta do. do things I want you to do, but you gotta want to do them. No. Um. Where can they find the show? They can find the show almost at YouTube.com/slash C/slash Adobe House <laughs> Records. We just need. Six more subscribers to change oh, our URL. Weird. Yeah. That's uh, exciting. Kind of. So please go subscribe to us on YouTube. If you type in Adobe House plug, Adobe House music video. Adobe House Tucson. Is it? Yeah. Or even just Adobe House and go to like the third or fourth or fifth page. I think it's like the second or third page. Damn. We're fucking making moves. Hell yeah. Um, Hell yeah. Moves to LA. Hell yeah. We're moving to Los Angeles in right about now. A We're m- in the car. Month, God damn it. or like a little more than a month. Um, got to sell shit. Everyone's applications are in. Maybe. Yeah, probably not. Kind of sucks that we're waiting on the one guy we don't know. Yeah. And that could fuck everything. Yeah. Especially since the one guy we do know won't respond. Yeah. So, um, more like 808 and no reception. So, if I don't get an answer for that, like in the next 12 hours, we may have to find another roommate. That'll suck. Not really, because I'm trying to get this shit taken care of. Hey, guys, I would like it done. A little, (laughs) a little piece of advice if you're moving into a house and other people are waiting on you to do stuff, just do it. This is a, a good time to bring up the contest. Do you want to move in with Adobe House? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're moving to Los Angeles. If anyone out there wants to move in with us, we're looking for we're looking for a roommate. You got to be uh, not a lame <laughs> is really the main thing. Yeah. Preferably like. You got to be Lithuanian. Preferably like, like, like young 20s. But if you're 44 and you're chill. I'm all fu- I'm fucking with it. <laughs> you know I love you, Joey. Have you ever been molested? No, ma'am. No, just thought I'd throw that out there. Would you like to do it to me? Uh, no. I don't feel like I could molest you because if I did, I feel like you'd you'd want it. No, no, no. I don't I can know if that's play. I don't know if that's like molesting. I can role play. Don't worry. Can you? Yeah. <sighs> North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> politics, huh? Uh, the fucking, um, I wish Jeff was here so he could segue into some Trump, like, like, you could talk about the moon, and he'll just be like, yeah, you know, Trump made the moon. (laughs) You know, you know, with what Trump's doing lately, the moon's brighter. (laughs) Thanks, Trump, for making the moon bright. It's not even the moon that's bright, it's the reflection of the sun, you idiot. Thanks to Trump. You're right. He's the one keeping the fucking lights on. Just like Mr. Barker, CEO at large. Barker. I have a new album out. Uh, tell us about that. What's good with that? It's Hashtag filling the void. Called filling the void. You can find it at hyper. You 
URL dot co slash filling the void. Or if you go to adobehouserecords.com, it's there and you could download it for free if you have the internet. Yeah, it's a free album. Um, why do you doing that? Why do you nobody? Want, why do you want people to download instead of linking to Spotify? Um, because fuck it, first, fuck, fuck Spotify instead of linking to Apple Music. <laughs> I mean, it, you should you should link the hyper URL as well. Yeah, I'll get the webmaster right on that. But uh, I'm, I want people to be able to download it. Download that shit. Yeah, I want I want uh, accessibility. Yeah, it's on the website. Go get it if you uh, if you want to listen to some music. It's available for download for free. Free. Because we don't sell music here because it's not 1994. What is this, 1993? God damn. Yo, I saw you listening to that or watching that video of Kendrick Lamar inviting a white fan on stage. Uh-huh, uh-huh, And uh-huh. the white fan was rapping and said the N-word, and uh-huh, Kendrick uh-huh, said, uh-huh. don't say that. Uh-huh. What are your thoughts on that? Probably that. I thought it was like... <laughs> um, I was like, I feel... I feel like he kind of knew she was going to say it. <laughs> like, why didn't he just bring a black person up there to sing the whole song? I mean, I don't know. That was kind of a weird lady. She was like, what's up, bro? I'm cool. I'm cool. Was she? Was that in Australia or America? Uh, it sounded like she had an, uh, an American accent. Oh, was it? I thought it was in Australia. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Kendrick Lamar. The I rapper. pretty much just explained it. Kendrick Lamar, K. Dot. Kenny L, um, Kung Fu Kenny, he was doing a show and he was playing the song. Um, do do what does it go? Do, I forgot Potters the name of it. Crips, but I'll get along. You can suck <laughs> my dick the at the song. end of the song. Um, I don't know, super yeah, popular yeah, song by Kendrick yeah. Lamar. I forgot the name of it. This girl goes on and she says the word nigga on stage. Kendrick says, "Hey man, or sorry, hey uh. person." <laughs> Uh, you can't say that. You're not black. And she's like, she said, oh, sorry, and then did it again. No, she didn't. I mean, she rapped again, or did the song again. But, like, for some reason forgot all the lyrics. Yeah, but she was in the verse. She was just fucked it up. She, I don't know, she's probably flabbergasted. She probably got killed. She probably stepped off that stage and was thinking, I hope this shit doesn't go viral. Damn. Which it did. Yeah. That's like one of my biggest fears Going viral for the wrong reason (laughs) Just like doing something Like just on accident And then just like I don't know like yodeling in a Walmart That's a bad reason (laughs) What? That's not a bad reason I know Yodeling's the best form of art Objectively Objectively? Yeah Really? Yeah I would say murder is the best form of art. I guess. Yeah. If you look at it from that perspective. Sure, sure, buddy? sure. My dog's underneath me. Oh. Oh, Mr. Bart Barker. That was a good time to bring in the sponsor, adobehouserecords.com slash store. We have some fresh clothing for anyone that wants to, you know, just rep some threads. We it's, got sick hats. We got sick sweatshirts. We got sick shirts. And we got sick yeah, visors too. There is one visor. I like I liked the visor. That's why I put it up. LOL. It's blue. You can go to adobehouserecords.com slash store. And grab yourself some threads. They'll be shipped to you in a timely manner. Super timely. Um, so I'm looking at this uh, um, article right now. Article. And it took me a while to, to understand the title. But the title is human race is just 0.01% of all life, but has eradicated most other living things. Mm, mm, mm. That's fucking crazy. That's cool, dude. Super proud. Good job, everybody. Hey, man. Like, hey, everybody keep it up. (laughs) Just keep eating it. 7.6% billion people represent 0.01% of all living things. And we've caused the loss of 83% of all wild animals and half of plants while livestock is only kept alive by humans. Yeah, does that like count plants? I, I think it does. Oh yeah, we've like, um, fucking, you know, I, you never really think about how many plants we've probably made extinct. Probably a few. Probably like a good amount. 
I think about that every waking second of my life. Hey, praise the yucca. Praise the yucca. We uh we have a god outside of our house. It's a yucca plant. It grows very fast and did not live up to my expectations. But I still praise it daily. What if we were just like monkeys and trees and everything was still forest? That'd be cool. You think we'd still have a good podcast? No, I don't. I don't think it would exist. No? I don't think a lot of things would exist. I think the monkey podcast would exist. Really? Yeah. Who was I talking to about space garbage? Space garbage. You fucking space garbage. I think I was talking to neighbor Jeff. Neighbor Jeff. That um, the Chinese in the U.S. are like a bunch of space garbage. Especially the Chinese because they had this satellite that they tried to bring down. But it like crashed into something else. <laughs> and all the fucking trash got just got lost in orbit or it's stuck in orbit and we like can't bring it down so there's like a ring of trash mm, just orbiting yeah that's cool we're just shitting on our planet i mean it'll it, it'll survive humans will yeah we'll be fine i mean it'll be fine i'm planning on uploading my consciousness to the cloud anyway so yeah, yeah. maybe Die down to robots and shit maybe i'll be around for that i'm with it uh kind of. royal wedding you know about that at all yeah, Roy Cortez got married. No, I'm talking about, <laughs> talking about the Prince Harry, Meghan Markle. Yeah, whatever. That's all I know about it. I just mentioned it. This <laughs> is the first thing that that had 4.45 million tweets uh, trending at the time, uh-huh. which is one of the biggest of the year. Wow. Yeah. I'm so happy for that. Yeah. Psych. Psych. He's cheating on you, bitch. With me. Yeah. Okay. Gay Prince. <laughs> the sequel. We need a gay prince. That would be that would be uh, that would be a refreshing switch up. For who's who's we? Uh us as a society. Just like <laughs> all of us. Isn't he okay. he's, he's the prince of the world, right? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm pretty sure uh Trump's Trump's kid is gay. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Trump's kid was gay. He'd probably put him in conversion therapy. <laughs> he would be the fuck to do that. I wonder what that's like, conversion therapy. It's probably fun. Oh, I've done it. It's fine. There's some waterboarding? Yeah, you know. You just gag. You just know. gag. <laughs> do they molest you more or like... It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's like sending your gay son to Bible camp to be healed. Yeah, I mean... Quote, unquote, healed. Mm-hmm. I've gotten some, some church camps. Have you? In my life, yeah. Let's hear some stories. Um, I someone like was doing like pranks on like the cabins. Yeah. And he was spraying in axe. <laughs> and just whipping, whipping his cock out and rubbing it on your face while you slept. No, nah, dude, that was just a leisure time. Oh. Um, this guy was spraying some axe in from inside of the cabin from outside of the window, and a kid was a. Uh, Looking out of the window, and he got fucking sprayed in the face where Jesus loves him. I bet that didn't feel good. No. That's kind of the only thing I remember. My entire education up to college was Bible camp. Damn. Pretty much. Well, at least you love Jesus, right? Right? Yeah. Goddamn right. Defi- definitely. Yeah. Yeah, we love Jesus on this podcast. Oh, we sure do. And if you don't. Thanks, JC. You die. Oh, man, it's just like... South Korea, huh? South Korea. Yo, you ready for that South and North... Uh, um, what is it? You ready for the denuclearization of North Korea? I think that, I think they got, uh, they got all kind of mad at each other for something. Mr. Barker's not happy at something. I think he's looking at his own reflection. No! <laughs> I, I put him in his place. Yeah, um... Uh... What was it? Fucking who was saying? Someone was saying some president of was it was it? I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to fuck it up. Was it China? Don't fuck it up. Was it China? He was saying that Trump deserves the Nobel Peace Peace Prize for uh, starting the talks between the Koreas. And then um, Kim Jong Un was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jong Un was like, nah. He didn't do shit. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, Fun times here at Dark Racial Humor Podcast. Yeah, but hey, hey, talks aren't 
talks aren't the aren't the goal. No, you're right. The goal is peace with Jesus. The goal is peace with Jesus. I just you know what? Why don't they just come back today? Like shit's already fucked up. Because uh, all the all the stupid sinning, dude. What, he's busy? He's busy playing Fortnite? Yeah. He's who do you think's fucking Thanos all the time? He's in heaven. Just fuck. Doesn't he get tired of coming oh, in first? Oh, Jesus is in hell, bro. You didn't hear. Really? Yeah. Damn. It was all that fucking throwing rocks at infidels. I feel like this might be hell. This is hell? Yeah. We're in the poorest country on the wo- in the world. Lithuania? What is the poorest country in the world? I don't know. Probably, like, it's probably like, what do you, how do you fucking... It's probably a country I've never heard of. I'm going to guess. I'm just going to throw a wild guess out there. Uganda. Uganda, I don't think is the poorest. Argentina. Argentina, I can pretty much guarantee is not the poorest. Okay, and the answer is... United States. The Democratic Republic of Congo ranks as the poorest country in the world, based on its GDP GDP per capita over the 20, 2009 to two thousand thirteen period. Mm. People earn an average of three. That's a lot. Strawberries. <laughs> <It's a> lot. <laughs> oh, I was reading the wrong thing. People earn an average of three hundred and ninety four dollars a year. Mm. This country stands in sharp contrast with Qatar, which I Qatar. is that how you say it? Kind of. Is that is it next to it? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Where people earn over a hundred thousand dollars a year. That's dope for Qatar. I would like to earn over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, you got it. Bring in Jimmy Buffett. That would be cool, and doing that not behind a desk. Yeah. Fuck a desk. Yeah. You know. I make my own career. Thanks for listening, people out there, because we really need this fucking money. No one's fucking written to us yet, assholes. This episode is brought to you by T-Mobile. Um, did you know that you can switch from T-Mobile to Sprint for as little as nineteen ninety five a month? And if you buy an iPhone 8 right now, you get one for free. Did you say T-Mobile to Sprint? I don't know. You did. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. They're not going to give me my fucking seven bucks. I got a hat, though. They're not going to give me my seven dollar voucher. For Subway? Yeah. So we were waiting for Fanning Systems to get here because he said he was going to... Roll through. Roll through. And usually when someone says they're going to roll through, what does that make you think? Oh, I'll be here within the next 10 to 15 minutes. I'm generally, generally, generally on my way when yeah, I say, yeah. yo, I'm about to roll through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He said, pull up. He said, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up. An hour goes by. Hours. No fanning systems. None. Give him a call. Who you there? Hey, I'll be over in an hour. What the fuck, bro? I got a vacuum and suck my dick. Literally, he was getting his dick sucked. By a fucking cat. By a cat. Who does that? It damn sure wasn't a girl. It was a cat. A pussy. I made sure he FaceTimed me to confirm, and it was a cat. (laughs) A feline. Bart, don't look at me with those cute eyes. Mr. Barker. Sorry, I was looking at my dog for those of you who can't see. Your CEO. Oh, sorry, my God. That's yucca. My God. My goodness gracious. Damn. What a day. This podcast... How it? What, what were you how, gonna say? How was your day? My dude? day, <laughs> pretty uneventful. Oh, tell me about it. I woke up. Bah. I went to the gym. Bah. Worked out some chest. Woo. Came home. Yeah. Edited the f- video, which you can see tomorrow. Ooh, May twenty second, twenty eighteen. And went to the park with Mr. Barker. CEO. Mr. Barker and. Now we're here. That's Podcast. just summer, dude. That's just like it was a it was a slow day. I didn't even make a beat today. He yet. didn't make a fucking beat. Nobody's in the house. Donish is gone. Skyler gave up and went to school. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's just fuck. It's lovely. Everybody's lovely, and I'm rock hard. Are you? Maybe. You don't look rock hard. Well. I have a small wiener. Did you hear that, um, those, uh, sexual assault 
not assault, misconduct allegations against a member in Brockhampton? No. You didn't? Kind of. It was. Statistically, it's kind of. There's like 22 dudes. Was it against a man or a woman? Oh, good question. Ooh. It was against a woman. Ah. No, it was one of them, the guy with the mustache. Oh, uh, really? The <laughs> yeah. bald one. Yeah, it was, uh, basically it was his exes. Mm-hmm. So you already know this is going to be like. Skewed. Uh, his ex has come out and say, said, "Oh, he was emotionally manipulative," which I think is a bullshit thing because I'm emotionally manipulative. I think. Well, the, um, you suck. I guess, or maybe people are just weak-minded. Wow, dude, the fucking victim card. You know me. Um. Uh, and they were there were allegations that he um. Had sex with underage fans, Ew. which she denied. Which, like, um, if that's true, then that's fucked up. Sure. I hope it's not true. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, what else did they say? Um, I don't think there was like any anything about abuse. It was it was basically just oh he was emotionally manipulative and he sleeps with underage fans. Mm-hmm. It was that, and he came out and said, uh, yeah, I wasn't the nicest boyfriend back in the day. Yeah. But I don't fuck kids. Yeah. And. It's been about two weeks, and no one in Brockhampton has, like, said anything. I'm pretty sure a lot of them deleted their social media, hmm. which is kind of, like, kind of um, fucked because they have an album coming out in about a week or two. People will still listen to it. People will listen to it, but, like, there was, there was like, a, a huge um, group brewing on Twitter. Hashtag boycott Brockhampton. Hashtag kick Amir out of Brockhampton and it wasn't like a super huge group it was like 10,000 people but that's 10,000 people yeah like that's that's enough yeah so you know that's kind of like it's kind of shitty how people can just say stuff about you I said I'm gonna say something about you let's hear it uh you rape dogs whoa yeah it's true hashtag kick Bonjan out of Adobe whoa uh boo uh, Boo, can shut I, the fuck can up. I respond to shut these the allegations? Can I respond to these allegations? Doggy toucher. Can I respond to these allegations, please? Sure. They're true. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> They're true. I'm sorry. I'm like, what can I say? Have you seen Bart? He's pretty cute. He's always naked. He is a soft, he's the softest mouth in the house. His for sure. penis is huge. It is pretty big. It's a giant wiener. I hope no one in my family listens to this, which is all of them. Hi. Hey, everyone. Yeesh. You didn't make this far, did you? What? Natalie. No one fucking made sex. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that's that's one thing I wish, that we could see how far people listen in to the podcast. Yeah. Because that would be helpful. Maybe we should ask people to fucking, all our fucking calls to action at the beginning. Ask people to what? Oh, to do shit? Fucking. Yeah. I mean, they won't even fucking write in questions, so why would they do anything? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe because they're not hearing it. Hey, guys. If you've made it this far, just click away. <laughs> just don't do anything. Everything after this is just going to be worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's downhill from here. We've been there. It's downhill from here. This is what happens when you don't podcast for two weeks. You just lose your flow. I don't even have a voice. Yeah. You know, Casey Neistat is a podcast. Mm-hmm. What's it about? It's uh, it's just him and his wife. Ew. Talking, and he's kind of like, I don't know. I kind of lose respect for him when I hear him <laughs> talk. Why? Because he seems like a different person. He seems like a little bitch. Like his he, wife seems like the the man in the relationship. That's that's always how it's kind of felt. Yeah. I mean, like I when I watch the vlogs, I'm just like, oh, he's the one. Always out working, making so? these videos every uh, day. Nah, dude. Because whenever fucking he's around his wife, she's always like, "Ah, shut the fuck up, Casey." His wife does kind of like seem mean. But but fucking yeah, I feel like Casey's a little like a little fucking submissive weirdo, low key. Probably he's probably into that into that. Him and Shay Carl should hook up. Him and Shay Carl. Waiting for that Casey Neistat scandal. Yeah, it's so gonna be bad. Yummy. It's gonna be juicy, but no one's gonna care. Because he has cool glasses. Yeah, they're all right. He's fucking, um, he's crazy when it comes to his, like, his lifestyle. He runs, like, 15 miles a day. Yeah, he's pretty addicted to running, huh? Yeah, and he's, like, I don't know if he lifts weights, but he's fucking jacked. Is he? Yeah. 
He's probably just super lean from running all the time. His fucking arms are big. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Casey. <laughs> oh, Casey. Oh, God, your subscribers. <laughs> I wonder what it's like logging into a YouTube account with 10 million subscribers. Uh, Shane, Shane come, soon come. Shane Dawson used to say, I, I'm afraid to like log into my main channel because I'm afraid I'm I'm, in, I'm gonna delete something or fuck it up. Yeah. Because you just have like just so many eyeballs on yeah. your account, so much money on the line. That's some shit, man. Hey, I want it. I uh, I had an Instagram post. It was just a repost of someone else's picture. Yeah. But it got like a hundred likes, and I was like, whoa. Your post? Yeah. What was it? It was just like a, a carrot, like a drawing or something. And you didn't even give him credit? You asked No, no, I did. I tagged him. Sir John Coela. John Coela? Coela. Shouts out. I think that's his last name. Instagram have, bans him a lot. Have you heard any feedback on our video? Um, 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 um. I really only care what Jane thinks. <laughs> No, Zane Barry, director at large, was watching it. Zane Barry, the world's slowest editor. Wow, what rude! We filmed that video two months ago. Well, what about fucking zip ties, B? Oh, that's not slow editing. I just gave up. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> well, in his defense, because you're being a big bitch boy, that's John. Me. I'm over here. Uh, he did offer to do a different uh, video in the meantime. I wonder how long that's going to take. Wow. You're getting shots called at you, Zane. Hey, Zane. You're a great guy. And um, I know I wasn't supposed to see Thang, but I saw it, and it looks great. Yeah, you were. Was I? I thought he only wanted to show it to Tamor. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it, no one was supposed to see it. Tamor, for... you asshole, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It was like he um came over to show it to Tamor to his house. Oh uh, what? And it's like unlisted, and like yeah. Tamor just like saved it and sent it to wow. the body. Yeah, Tamor, you fucking snitch rat whore, bro. Hey, bro. hey like we've been waiting for two months. I wanted to see what the holdup was. I mean, I, I man, yeah, you know whatever. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. Can't wait for the world to see it. It's going to look great alongside these vlogs. I love content. Be pushed out. <laughs> Fucking under duress. I love content. Hey, let's make shirts that say, I love content. I think we uh, should make Hello More Adobe merchandise. Yes. Main stuff. And then like two, three kind of random stuff. Yes. Bunch of colorways. Bunch of, bunch of hats. Maybe some socks? Socks. Mugs. Maybe. Condoms. I need to, like, get a hold of some... Money? No, some YouTube people. Like, start start collaborating again, like the good old days. Like, really get engaged in the community. Especially if you're moving to L.A. Back when I lived in L.A., it was like, everyone was out there, so it was really easy to, like, meet up with someone. Yeah. Like at a park or something, and maybe in their car behind an alley. <laughs> <laughs> it was just really easy to just get in their pants. No, I'm just kidding. I used to know, meet up with YouTube people, and we used to make little collabs. Because you people know, everyone re- do people collab anymore, man. Well, on they YouTube, do. On they YouTube. do on YouTube world. Yeah, I see that a lot. Cause you kind of have to yeah. to like stay like alive. Yeah. Originally. I remember it used to be so fucking like folky and like homey to collab with people. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm with blank today. And now it's like, yeah, my manager will call your manager and we'll just set, set this up. Yeah, it's just like. Now they play a dumb game. A dumb game? Like, yeah. Googling ourselves <laughs> with. <laughs> I do my boyfriend's. I do my boyfriend's side chick's makeup. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny ass video. Oh, shit. We should do it. We should do it right now. <laughs> My b- <laughs> doing my boyfriend's side chick's makeup. Doing my girlfriend's girlfriend's makeup. Doing my girlfriend's friend's makeup. Pubes. What? What did you say? Pubic hair. Your thoughts. Go. Uh, stringy. Love it. Uh, curly. Delicious. Tasty at night.
Um, that's a, who the a caller calling in fuck saying. Fuck is texting me. Okay. Fanning Systems texting me. Okay, this ought to be rich. Ah. It's probably going to be like just stepping in the shower. Can't even open my own phone. Come on, iPhone XX. Oh, he said on my way. Uh, see you in fucking 45 minutes, you butthole face. I'm going to text him back and say, cool, see you in an hour. Ha, 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 that'll show him. That's fucking content right there. Got him, there. dude. Fucking got him. Cool, see you in. We should definitely and... record a bit of this for the vlog. Yeah, where's that camera? Hey, guys, the fans out there listening to this, driving in your car. Is that okay if that's not on? Yeah. Make sure you plug in that mic, though. Oh, dude, you fucking know it, big boy. And plug it into the mic hole, not the headphones hole. Made yeah. that mistake before. Duh, mic, not AV. Yeah. Damn, we have a clean-looking uh, YouTube channel, just no viewers. Well, that's up to you guys. Hi, I'm John Ricker. <laughs> John David Ricker? <sighs> okay, <laughs> so I recently graduated college, right? College. University of Arizona. Journalism. Journalism. Journalism major, Spanish minor, not fluent, you know. Get sorry. that, get that, get that money. Yeah, you know, fucking, uh, I, I, gotta, be, I gotta be around Spanish more. Um, uh, graduated college, uh, you can, you can put your, how to put your, uh, your, like, pronunciation for when they say your name, and on mine, I said my, uh, my entertainment name in front of my full name, so it said Caller John David Ricker. Damn, man, how'd your family feel? My mother wasn't stoked. Nope, what? Why not? Uh, she was like, I just wanted to hear my baby boy's name. Damn. That I gave him. Damn. She gave you and then waited 21 years. How old are you? 21. 21 years. 21 just to, just to see a great accomplishment, right? That's a long time. I don't know if you guys have ever been to jail before. <laughs> <laughs> but I just got out doing 20 years. Yeah. And yikes. Uh, and then on top of that, um, you can – you. There's like you can put a, a little message that they put on kind of the LED boards, and I texted my mother and I was like, "Look, look at the LED board. It's gonna be a good one." And she was like excited to be like, "Oh, she's gonna, he's gonna thank uh, fucking his mother, his sister, and his fucking aunt and uncle that have helped him so much while he's been in Tucson, Arizona." Yeah, she had the video camera out. It was yeah, ready I was like, take a picture of it. Uh, and, uh, what it said was adobehouserecords.com. Fuck yeah. And then after that, it said, check yourself. It's just that brand or die life, I guess. I, and I felt real bad on Twitter. I was even like, I like, it was, I don't know. I was like professing like, damn, I was super selfish and like thinking like too much of like fucking brand shit. Yeah. Made me feel a little bad. Does your mom read your Twitter or did you tell her that in person? (laughs) No, no. Oh, Oh, good, good. (laughs) <laughs> I saw a tweet that said, oops, accidentally told my mom happy Mother's Day instead of putting it on social media. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, my bad. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. I never understood that. Like, just writing paragraphs to, like, family members that don't have social media. Yeah. Like, just tell them. I mean, I feel like now a lot of a lot of people's parents have social. Or, like, if you're, like... Like this girl was saying, happy birthday to her th- three year old or whatever sister. Yeah. Wrote like, had to be a thousand <laughs> words. <laughs> and I was like, yo, this fucking person isn't going to read it. Take your sister to Chuck E. Cheese or something <laughs> instead of like. I know that, that point is all fucking just like weird fucking, weird fucking people trying to gratify what they're doing. I. I feel like a lot of people are depressed on social media. Yeah, it's a depressing thing, kind of. It's um, it's an, the most isolating yet public thing ever. Beautifully tragic. The people that look the best, I must like. I wonder how they uh, I wonder how they look in the morning. <laughs> I wonder how they wake up. Do they wake up with that full face of makeup and those killer rock hard abs? It's, I mean, the abs probably. Okay. If you if you're putting your abs on Instagram, all power to you, man. Because getting good abs is hard. If you're putting in that work, go ahead and show that shit off. But it's just like sometimes it's just a little much. I think my rock hard abs on on Instagram are up to me and not you, Spaghetti Head. I have a question. 
For who? A little irrelevant. Whoever wants to answer in our live studio audience. Shut the fuck up, Jerry. <laughs> I read this this story. This guy, uh, he was arrested in 92 when he was 14 uh, for allegedly murdering a cop. He didn't do it. He was exonerated. The guy's like 42 now, and he's out. Mm-hmm. Um, been in jail for the past 20 whatever years. Almost 30 years. What do those people do when they get out? Like, they have no experience? Well, that's what fucking... I was I was watching a uh, a documentary with the guy from The Wire. Yeah. Um, called Raised in the System. Uh, basically, kind of like chronicling narratives of people that have went in the system when they're like 14 and 16. And, uh, um... I don't know. That's like what it's made for, and it's it's not like it's really not to rehabilitate people right now. It's just a fucking cycle of of shittiness that when people get incarcerated, they're just fucked. It's like that guy. The fucking state should like set him up for life. Just give him money every month just to live. They don't, people, the state doesn't care about these people. Yeah, he's probably gonna be right back in jail real soon. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. I mean, I don't know. There was a scene in it where uh, his cousin actually was like in, in charge of a program to I don't know kind of to like get people ready for when they get out to like I don't know they get like scholar fucking education and stuff so when they get out they're fucking preparing yeah like he like later in the documentary he like he got out after fucking like sixteen whatever fucking years and he's like yeah this is what I've been like preparing for for all these years which is kind of somewhat of an anomaly but. uh he asked how many people in this big room were uh, got here when they were like teenagers, and like ninety percent raised their hand. Just some shit. Shitty. Yeah. They're all fucking thirty-five, forty. Have you ever almost been arrested? Um, 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 um I don't know. Arrested. I've definitely ran from cops. I've definitely been stopped at a national park. Oh, yeah. With uh, some paraphernalia. Shout out to Adobe. Woo! We were there. <laughs> um, but not really. I, I try to, I don't know, stay in my house. I was f- uh, smoking some, 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 some D-R-U-G-S. Woo! <laughs> uh, no, I was um, in high school. I was with my friends and we were in their car. Mm-hmm. It was after my job, my work, and we were smoking near my school, which is in a pretty nice neighborhood. And um, fucking these cops pull up, guns drawn, yelling at us, put your hands on the fucking ceiling, put your hands on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. I've never been so happy to be friends with white people in that yeah. moment. Uh, but they were like, yo, what are you, what are you guys fucking doing? And we were like, oh, nothing, we're just chilling. Fucking reeked like weed, of course. Yeah. Um, and so they found the weed, and then they were like, uh, do you have anything else, any other paraphernalia? We lied and said no, and then, like, right when we said that, like, the fucking bong tipped over. <laughs> <laughs> and so they put us, uh, they didn't handcuff us, but they sat us down on the fucking curb, yeah. and they were going through our shit, and they only let us go because, um, of the high school we went to. Wow. Yeah. They said, uh, I guess one of the cops went there or something. Wow. Yeah, so that was a lucky break. Yeah. There was a thing I was reading that someone posted, um, uh, some, some kind of legislation called uh, Blue Lives Matter um, yeah. that makes assault on police officers a federal offense. Uh-huh. And uh, I didn't read super much into it. But Isn't yeah. it already? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, all I, don't I know, know is federal. that... I don't know is that if you like assault them, they shoot you. Yeah. Maybe like, I, I think I'd like rather get shot than have a federal offense. Do you? I don't know. It's... Never had either. Which one's better? Uh, I feel like after you get shot, you still get locked out. Fuck. Are they going to clean my wounds? I don't know. Someone in the backyard? I think a door opened. We about to throw down? I don't know, but if, if you do that... Uh, uh, <laughs> well, that's it.
I have a gun on <laughs> the couch. Oh, man. Wow, just trudging through this yeah, podcast. Yeah, I'm kind of done. This is hard. <laughs> hey, yo, we hey, in five seconds, we will have made it to 45 minutes. Four. Three. Hey, yo, we're we're at forty five minutes. If we if we go fifteen more minutes, we'll be in an hour. They want to go fifteen more. Let's just go till Fanny Systems get here. So it'll be like a two hour podcast. <laughs> Fuck. All right, that's funny. Uh, Sorry, I don't like bringing up. Let's finish when it's not a thing. Sometimes I just get tired, you know. Sometimes you just get tired. My back so, hurts. There's not a lot to talk about sometimes. So th- maybe that's our fault. We maybe, should be better at this. Maybe we should just quit everything. Let's go to more corporate Macy's. I'm going to submit this application right now to us. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when we move to L.A., yeah. what is your plan of attack? Money wise, um, I gotta look up some jobs. I have no idea. Really? No idea. I think you should um start setting up some interviews or something like before. Yeah. yeah no. No. Yeah. I'm That's gonna, kind of um, the looking at jobs thing. I'm gonna find something like in the area of what of our house yeah. to like walk to uh-huh. something like. Simple at first, uh-huh. just so I can be like, "Hey, mom, dad, hey, yo, I, I have an income." Yeah. Um, as long as it's not like food. Yeah. And then um, uh, gonna yeah. work, gonna try to wiggle my way into this concert entertainment job. Yeah. All while making videos and content for Adobe House until that starts picking up, and I can quit everything. Just, in seven years. Just get this YouTube money. Hopefully it doesn't take seven years. Why? Hopefully it takes a fucking year or two. Maybe not. Maybe it'll take longer, but like that's the goal. The goal is to have um income from art. Income from online content, whether that be podcast, clothing, YouTube, music, Twitch. Twitch. Um uh, shout out. Twitch.tv slash Collar John and not Twitch.tv slash Dark Racial Humor. I'm really curious to see what it's like to be popping on a streaming service. It's interesting. As someone who is super popping. As someone, as you're telling me from experience. Ah, uh, fanning <laughs> systems. Here. I guess the podcast <laughs> is over. All right, guys. <laughs> Barker's getting pissed. Hey, thanks for listening, guys. Sorry this episode was trash. <laughs> Uh, we were just getting the gears. I mean, it was picking up towards the end. It was picking up towards the end. Um, if we release this, uh, enjoy it. Um, real quick, my Twitter is B O N underscore J E N N Bonjen. Mine's C O L L A R J O H N. It's Caller John. You can follow us on Twitter at Dark Racial Humor, one word. And also, um, buy your shirts at adobehousebreakers.com slash store. Or you can PayPal at Wensloat. At gmail.com, W-E-N-S-L-O-T-E. And we also have a new series on YouTube. Go check that out right now. Okay, peace out. Thanks for watching, guys, or listening. Bye. Bye.